Hello everyone, and uh, this is a video on PHP template systems. Um, I had to figure this out for myself because I couldn't really find much stuff on this, and it definitely makes development 20 times quicker, easier, and of course less space on your um, server is used up because you're not, you know, copying and pasting your HTML layout and such. All right. So basically, um, you know, this you know, it does not look good, of course, but it's just using as an example. So I'll show you the source code for that page right now. That's this, and that is definitely useful. I'm not gonna lie. So um, I'm gonna delete everything, and we're gonna I'm gonna walk you guys through writing this, and you'll see how useful it really is once we get through. So yeah, um, I will just pull this over on my right monitor here and delete this code yeah I have this running on my local host exam system thing <laughs> that's how I got the running PHP or whatever so okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna create index.php file so it's pretty complicated you know yeah so, <laughs> okay, so I want to make another folder. I'm just going to call it SRC. That's going to be for, that's where we want to hold our template files. And I'm going to create another folder and I'm going to call that core. Okay, so we got a layout or file system working. Okay, so in the source, I'm going to make a file called header.html. And footer dot html is that all right? So um, could make a style sheet here, but you know for this simple text, um, I was gonna say a simple text demo. I say that we don't really need a style sheet. So then in here in core. I'll make a file called template.php. Template.php. And say yes. And uh, I would normally make includes.php and include that in a large scale application. And since we're just testing the template function, we won't need to do that. Okay. So I'm making hand gestures and it's pretty interesting, but no one can see them. So, okay. So now that we have all these opened up here. We'll start. Let me just organize these here. Footer. Okay. So first, we'll start with the header. I assume you know HTML if you're gonna be doing this. So doc type opening HTML tag. Now it won't close it because we'll be cl we'll be closing all this or at least most of these tags in the footer in the footer file. Okay. So head. Okay, and uh, I'll show you how this works now, kinda. So I'll make our title tags. Now, to get this to work, I'm going to do this. Okay, we're going to put two of these curly braces here, and then we'll type in title. That's how our um, PHP is going to recognize where it needs to place the title on the template page. Or normally I'll put in a link a style sheet here, but we don't really need that for this example, so I won't do that. And then you're gonna open the body tags. We'll close them in the footer file, so we won't close them yet. Okay. Then I'll open up header tags, which is an HTML5 tag for like the top of your page. So I'll just type in um, this here, and then some more curly braces. It says page title and then I don't know I'll make another one that says um mot d or message of the day this is an example so you can see that it actually works okay and uh that I believe is that yeah okay that's it for header.html now on footer well let's see here yeah we'll just open up footer tags 
Sorry if I'm going a little too fast. You can pause the video. So I like to get things done fast. So, so in footer, we'll just say um, say copyright. something 2013 as an example okay and then we'll close off our body tags and close off our HTML tags there we go so that is everything now you could definitely place something in here to be interchangeable but usually the footer is static sometimes it's not but in my mind footers are pretty much static okay so now we have all that here we'll just run it Chrome here, so I can show you what it looks like right now. It's pretty basic. See, we got title up here, and you know, page title. Oops, and uh, message of the day area. Oh, yeah, there go. so now we can start all of the uh, the fancy. Template stuff. Wow, 46 minutes. Okay, so in template.php, we'll just open up our PHP documents, and um, I like to do everything object oriented because you'd probably be using a template in a large scale project. I would think. I don't know. So I'll just make a new class. I'll call it template, and um, in here I'll make a function, public function header. Which, if you can guess, I will display the header on the page. It's a pretty good idea, isn't it? I think so. All right. So to get started, what we're going to do is we're going to make a variable called file. Set that equal to file yet. Oops. Contents. <clears throat> now I'm just gonna say http slash slash local host slash slash um header dot html now of course you'll set this to like your domain name or whatever you're doing this on I'm doing this on a local machine so mine is gonna be localhost at the moment so yeah um hmm okay next well, we have to set up parameters here because we're going to require two parameters. It's going to be the settings and the values. So both of these will be arrays inputted in here. And the settings will be the name of what we're changing. So, for example, the setting would be title, page title, and message of the day. And values would be what we're setting those equal to in, in place of them so yeah so what we'll do now mm -hmm. let me think here cool, we'll make a for each loop okay and we'll, we'll, look, we'll loop through well, actually no not yet we'll need to make one thing real quick we're gonna make a variable called count set that to zero That because we'll increment that every time so we know what value corresponds to the setting. If you know what I mean. So now we'll make the for each loop. So we'll go through settings as setting as an example there. Okay. So now we're doing that. So we'll just set file equal to string replace now if you don't know how this works I'll tell you how that works right now so the first parameter is what you are going to replace the second parameter is what you're going to replace it with and the last parameter is what string you're doing that with for example it's file okay so so what are we trying to replace? Well, we're trying to replace a, the setting. Just to find here, well, as we're looping through settings. So, but remember, 
the, these are wrapped in curly braces, which is we don't really want to type that every time we use the function. So we'll do this. Say curly brace there, and curly brace here. And then we'll pop setting right in the middle. So that will grab, that will replace everything that's what the value of setting is inside two curly braces. And the second parameter is going to be it's going to be an element of the values array and it's going to be count the element of count I don't know how to explain this but you know count I'll do that right now count will increment every time we go through the for each loop so then the value will grab the element according to the count I think that's the best way to explain it there. Okay, so now that we have done that, I think I've done everything. So I kind of did a test run through this before we did it. So I don't remember what I did, but yeah. So that should technically be working right now. So we'll have to test it here. So we'll open up, we'll start our index file here, we'll open up our PHP, and we will. Um, Okay, so we gotta include the template file. Core slash templates dot php. So we'll just make an instance of the class. I'll call it temp for short. Templates. Oh, I forgot the new keyword there. Okay. Now we want to set up settings array so we'll say settings equals array okay so the first setting we want to change is well let's look here okay we want to change the title setting so let me just pull this up for right here so we'll change the title setting so we'll just type in title I'm going to change two more settings if I'm not mistaken so we want to change page title and the message of the day so type page title message of the day there so now we just made an array with the settings we want to change now we're going to make another array, array called values it's going to be make another variable called values which is equal to an array okay so let's see let's set the title to uh, website Home. Okay. So remember, these have to be lined up. You know, title there. I was pointing with my finger. <laughs> title here, title there. Okay. Page title here. Page title there. Page title there. So we're going to need. We're just going to call the page title home. And uh, message of the day there. Message of the day. Here, so we'll say uh, welcome to my website. I guess why not? Now, <clears throat> now we have all of those things set. We have to call the header and display it, pretty much. So we're going to use the template class, okay? And we're going to use the, you know, I think it's called the object pointer. And then we're going to, I don't know what it's called honestly. I I just made that up, but that could be correct. Okay, and then we're going to call the header function which is right on file there okay header function okay but remember we need to pass in these two values settings and values so we need so let's put in settings and values in the parentheses and that should work and all right Oh, I forgot to do one thing in this file. We got to echo the file. All right. So now let's just refresh here. There. See that? It says website home, which we typed. Where are we? Oops, on file there. Which we, website home, which we typed here. Then home, which we typed here, and welcome to my website, which we typed here. So now we just got to do the footer. It's pretty simple. So right here, I'm just gonna put in 
give me some dummy content. Remember, since it's outside of the PHP, okay, I'll open up, open that up again, and then we'll just call. Even though we haven't created this function yet, we'll just call it temp footer. Okay. Now this won't require any parameters once you're done because remember there's nothing really to replace in the footer, but of course you can just copy pretty much everything that's in the header function, you know, to if you really wanted to make settings in the footer. But you know that's it's pretty much static normally, but whatever. So footer, public function footer. And I'll make another variable called file. Remember that these won't create any issues because there are local variables inside each function since we're doing our OP here so I don't know if I said this but file get contents this fetches the content of a file over the internet or from a local path on your server <clears throat> so in my case the footer will be located at uh, localhost slash src slash footer dot html and since, oops, a colon there, that is semicolon. Then, um, because we won't really be making any settings in the footer, we can just echo out the file. Well, of course, if you really do want to make settings, you can just pretty much copy this and then make adjustments to it. So we'll just refresh this. Oops. Okay. And put in some dummy content, which you can see here, and then the copyright something 2013. And um, yeah, that's pretty much how it all works. <clears throat> it's pretty simple, really. Um, yeah. So if that is extremely useful. So if you want to create like profile pages or stuff like that but I mainly use it for the header and the footer I quickly grab those things and I create a new page but it'll be very useful if you want to make, create a template for like profile pages, posts you know like if you're making a form or something you can just call that function in a loop and set the contents of like each little post box or something like that it's quite useful you could really use this for anything so you can you know copy paste this header function and you know change some things up so it works with like profile pages or whatever what have you. So thank you for watching my video on youtube.com slash face chap. Well, you know, that's not but that's my channel, whatever. So thanks you thank you for watching my video and um hope I can make some more. It's kind of fun talking to a microphone in a room all by myself, if you ask me. So thank you, and uh, I will probably talk to you later via my keyboard, since I won't know a lot of you people, most likely. So thanks for watching, and see you later.